This is more about living in the time of the coronavirus epidemic. There was more violence, protest, vandalism, arrests, and shooting in my city last night. True also in many cities. There was an angry protest outside the White House, and the trumpet issued a spectacularly stupid tweet saying that if it happened again, he would respond with big dogs and ominous weapons, putting us back into the Deep South, the 1950s, German shepherds, batons, and water cannons. Just the right touch there, POTUS. I did see that a principal did drive over 1,500 miles to hand-deliver diplomas to all of his graduates. That's good. The protests are difficult because the more they are suppressed, the more forceful they will become, putting the police in a terrible position. And if in any of these many municipalities there is a death, things could get ugly in a hurry. In my city, a policeman was shot. The bullet hit his Kevlar helmet just above his eye. The curfew in the city has been extended and moved up to 9 o'clock. The panhandler, the field mouse, and the trumpet are all scheduled to speak today, and I don't think they'll be talking about the coronavirus. I guess they have to talk, but I wish they would all shut up. Too many people are saying far too much right now, and the joker is still active. An extended curfew at 9 o'clock. Combine that with the unrest and businesses have to be hurting. They've taken such a pounding. Now it really feels like they're in a war zone. Here's a thought. If the field mouse really believes that we are all made in the image of God, then I think it is true that he does not go along with the theory of evolution. That's okay. I'm not so sure about it myself, but it is still rather surprising to discover something like that about a modern-day elected political official. The field mouse has called for the National Guard to assist local police in two cities, where multiple police cars were overturned and burned. I don't like to see the National Guard get involved in anything but parades. Like many governors, he goes out of his way to side with the protesters, saying he believes their cause is just, so long as they keep it peaceful. The trumpet and many governors think that the ones inciting to riot are extremists and domestic terrorists who have no cause but destruction and anarchy. My problem with this is that I hear a lot about it, but I have yet to hear of a single instance where anyone can prove that a known person prone to violence or belonging to a radical group was arrested or photographed on the scene. Most mayors are quick to say our citizens are not doing this. This is the work of outside agitators, people with a violent agenda. I don't know if that is true. It does help to clean their shoes. So it's interesting. The coronavirus is shrouded in mystery. Who has it? You can have it and not even know it. Many dark things. And while the commission of the crime seems to be clear in the murder of the man in Minneapolis by the police, the subsequent protests are taking place in the shadows. Exactly who is vandalizing, looting, and shooting, there are many theories. I was out walking this morning and I saw a long white jet contrail in the clear blue sky. Some people think there are chemicals in that exhaust that the government uses for mind control. Another theory. A lot of black people exercise and walk around the track where I do, and I was thinking about them as I was walking and their reaction to the killing of the man in Minneapolis, and the words Cruel and unusual slid into place. That's what that murder was, the protracted, uncaring nature of it. It was torture and murder. The three cops who stood by and did nothing should be whipped. I have never been solid on the use of the hate crime designation. I think it is not necessary, redundant, and sometimes almost silly. But in this case, I think this was a hate crime. The cop was hating 
and he killed that man like I would a bug in my basement. The protests and vandalism continue. The curfew has been reset for 8 o'clock. This will hurt more businesses and be ignored by punks and thugs. They're on holiday. They're like the jet contrail or the coronavirus. Everyone has their own theory about them. So many mysteries. They're swarming around us.